this is Fiona from IELTS with Fiona and in this lesson we're looking at a part four listening about elephant translocation. What's interesting about this listening is that all of the answers are nouns, they're one word answers and as you listen I hope you'll be able to hear that the answers come very clearly at the end of each sentence or at least at the end of each clause and I'll explain that to you as we go through it. The answers themselves are not difficult but it's all about keeping your place. So it's called elephant translocation and there are four titles in the summary the first one is the reasons for their overpopulation at Majetti National Park and there are two bullet points and there's no question there so I'm going to skip to the next part. The next part says that there are problems caused by elephant overpopulation. So remember part four is almost like an essay, it's very carefully structured so it gives that background information about why there are too many elephants at this national park and then it introduces a problem and you'll expect of course a solution. So the problems are and there are two bullet points here. Number one, greater competition causing hunger for elephants. Now I'm emphasizing the word hunger because in this lesson which is on my website and in the Members Academy I, I'm talking about what I call word prompts or prompt words and they are words that you hear in the listening text and they are also on the question paper. So these very specific words just help you keep your place and they are stressed so in this example we're listening for the word hunger before we get to the gap fill. The gap fill says damage to something in the park but you won't hear the word damage that will be a synonym so to find your place you've got to listen for this word hunger. All right so remember to make a prediction, what do you think could be damaged by elephants in the park, in the national park? Well obviously it's a noun and that's really all we know at this stage. So it says this led to a number of problems, so there's your signal. Firstly, you can hear the writing task 2 organisational links. Firstly, there was more competition for food. There's a word which is the same in the question paper. There was more competition for food and you can see it says greater competition on the summary. So your ears should prick up as you hear competition. Which meant that some elephants were suffering from hunger. So hunger is the word, it's emphasised at the end of the sentence. As there was a limit to the amount of food in the national park, some elephants began looking further afield. So try to picture this. The elephants are hungry, there's not enough food in the park, so what do they do? They, they go further. They go in areas where people don't want elephants. So what do they break down? It says elephants were routinely knocking down fences around the park. So knocking down is causing damage to. And the answer is fences. Notice it's plural. They test this kind of plural where the s adds an extra syllable like washes or brushes. This one is fences and the spelling is es or ces at the end. 
Next, they move on to the solution. So the solution is called the translocation process. And they explain what that means. It just means moving elephants to a new home 300 kilometers away. What we're looking for is the first bullet point. Question 32 says a suitable group of elephants from the same something was selected. So use your background knowledge. What do you know about elephants? Are they usually in a group of what? The same what? And notice um, was selected is singular. So what do they say? Elephants were moved in groups of between 8 and 20, all belonging to one family. And that comes at the end of the sentence and that is the answer group of elephants from the same family. Next, we've got some prompt words. The answer we're looking for is this sentence. Vets and park staff made use of something to help guide the elephants into an open plain. So simply, what did the vets and park staff use? to guide the elephants away from the location. And it says, a team of vets, so vets is the prompt word, that's the one you should find your place quickly with. A team of vets and park rangers flew over the park in helicopters in helicopters. That's it. That's the answer. It's plural. It's helicopters. And they targeted a group which were rounded up and directed to an open plane. And the prompt word is the same there, an open plane in helicopters. Then they explain how they immobilized the elephants. As you can imagine, this was tricky. They explain and they had to get the right dose of tranquilizer and they had to dart the elephants as they were running around. So the prompt word there is quickly and the question sheet says this process had to be completed quickly to reduce something. So we're looking for a collocation with reduce. It's, it's actually on my list of collocations. We, we talk about it, you know, to reduce pollution, for example. And here's what they say. This had to be done as quickly as possible so as to minimize, minimize is the synonym for reduce, the stress caused. So we can only choose one word to reduce stress. And it's a fixed collocation. What do you do to reduce stress? 35. Elephants had to be turned on their something to avoid damage to their lungs. So again, a part of the animal's body, imagine that you've tranquilized them. Are they going to be on their feet, on their back? Which part of their body would you lie an elephant down on and it says to avoid the risk of suffocation the team had to make sure none of the elephants were lying on their chests because their lungs could be crushed in this position so all the elephants had to be placed on their sides and that's it Last word again in the sentence, placed on their sides. Now I'm noticing here how many plurals there are. In the Members Academy we have a whole lesson about the pronunciation. So you've got sides with a z sound, then you've got helicopters with a z sound, and fences with a is sound. 
and there's one more later on as well so it's really important that you recognize these plurals because you'll just lose the point if you don't hear it so the answer for 35 they had to be turned on their sides now 36 is an interesting one elephants something had to be monitored constantly now remember we've tranquilized the elephants we want to keep them alive and if you've ever watched any of those documentaries where they move elephants and hippopotamuses and rhinos they there's one thing they have to monitor so your background knowledge comes in in here um, also may be guessable but listen for this trick it says it was very important oh I'll just go back a bit one person stayed with each elephant while they waited for the vets to do checks it was very important to keep an eye on their breathing that's it to keep an eye on idiom meaning to monitor and to keep an eye on their breathing that comes at the end of the sentence again breathing has come up a few times and do you know why because it's one of those words which has other pronunciations like breath the singular noun is breath and they actually say that they say if there were fewer than six breaths per minute the elephant would need urgent medical attention so my students mixed this one up breaths and breathing and breathing is the answer elephants breathing had to be monitored constantly and remember breathing is one of those ea words the e sound we've got another one coming up next which they test because of the spelling and you can get a full list of those on my website as well i monitor every time they come up so i add to it whenever i see them so the next one listen carefully this is really tough so the prompt word says tracking devices were fitted to the matriarchs you don't need to know that word it means the female mothers or that they're usually grandmothers i think in elephant families and it says um it says collars that's tracking devices were fitted to the matriarch in each group so their movements could be tracked in their new home now what what do we want to find 37 says data including the size of their tusks and something was taken now this is really tough so we want to know what kind of data they took two things one the size of their tusks and something else you might guess what else they would measure but listen to what they say they say measurements were taken of each elephant's tusks elephants with large tusks would be at greater risk from poachers and also of their feet now that's really strange because feet comes after they've already had a long sentence about poachers but feet is the answer they took measurements of their tusks and feet and that's the double e uh, uh, spelling the pronunciation of e we had before was breathing e a and now we've got double e for feet and also it's an irregular plural they love irregular plurals and I've got a list of them <laughs> gotta learn them just learn them all right so now the next or final part of the summary is about the advantages so the conclusion really like in an essay you sum up what were the pros and cons of what happened so the title says advantages of translocation at and it's got an unpronounceable Nikotakota wildlife park so you can listen for that and it says 
two dozen elephants have been born at Nikotakota since relocation. And the first bullet point we're looking for, 38, is some kind of opportunity. Now, this is easy to miss, I think. It says, um, the elephants translocated to Nikotakota settled in very well. The project has generally been accepted as a huge success. Here are the advantages and not just for the elephants. Employment prospects have improved enormously, contributing to rising living standards for the whole community. Now, this is tough. The prospects is a synonym for opportunities. So the answer is employment. I think that's a tricky one. I, I don't have any advice for you there, I'm afraid. It's just synonyms. And the next one is tricky because you have to read between the lines. So just try to picture it again in this place. Um, because the elephants have come, there are more employment opportunities, which means the next bullet point, a reduction in the number of poachers. Poachers, I should have maybe mentioned, that's an important word. You, you might know it, I'm sure you do. It's when people illegally kill elephants for their tusks, for their ivory. So there was a reduction in the number of poachers and something. So we're looking for what went down. And this is it. It says, poaching is no longer an issue as former poachers are able to find more reliable sources of income. In fact, many of them volunteered to give up their weapons as they were no longer of any use to them. So what went down? The number of poachers and also their weapons. That is the answer. Tricky one. Also tricky because of the spelling. Weapon pronunciation. Pronunciation is E. Spelling W-E-A. So of course they're going to test you on those and I've got lists of those words which have the E sound or the E sound or the E-A spelling. I've got them all and just learn them. They'll come up again and again. And notice weapons also plural. Finally, so we looked for a reduction and now we're looking for an increase. And listen to this. Oh, and it says an increase in something as a contributor to GDP. Now, again, if you've ever watched any of those wildlife documentaries, you'll notice an interesting thing happening when instead of um, poaching and having safaris where people shoot or hunt uh, these wild animals, they, they can make more money in a different way. How? So it says, all this has been a big draw for tourism. And notice how I said that. Again, it's at the end of the sentence. For is weak. He says, for tourism, which contributes five times more than the illegal wildlife trade to GDP. And this is mainly because of the elephants. So the answer there, tourism, can you spell it? T O U R. I S M. And if you go and look at my daily tips as well, uh, which you'll get as, as a member, you'll see them. Or if you go to my website to find the tape script of this, you'll see I go through and you can listen to the real speaker um, mentioning all of these, how they put the stress on the last word. And if I go through them quickly now, he says, knocking down fences to one family in helicopters to minimize the stress placed on their sides and also of their feet and, and so on. It just stands out and it, it really, really helps you get the answer right. 
Okay, I hope you found that useful. If you have any requests um, that you'd like me to go through with you, then please just contact me. You can find me on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, on my website, ieltsetc.com, and I'd be very happy to answer any of your requests. Thanks for listening today. Bye-bye.